What's up, guys? Welcome back for some more The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. And we left off last time. Let me see. Which, what's it, which save is it? Um, <clears throat> we are going to look for, uh, I think, some sort of glowing mushroom on the Malga Trail that grows near some grass for Orvid. Uh, so I guess we'll just wander around and hope for the best. Um, I'm guessing we'll have some sort of, like, exclamation point or something show up whenever we're near the item we need. Uh, that'd be my guess, at least. And, like, all the enemies we're gonna fight here should be, like, way below our level. Because this is the first place you go in the game, so... Well, second place. The sewers is the first place, so... Nope. I'm guessing it's probably a little further in. Too far away. Uh, we'll just do Soul Blur. Oh, all right. How about Airstrike? Who gets to go first? It is nice that it doesn't, it doesn't spend your EP until it's your turn to actually go. Like when you're channeling, it doesn't cost anything. So situations like that, Estelle doesn't have to lose 10 for no reason. Um, Alright, so we've been this far. Oh wait, yeah, it splits up, it splits off up here in the one direction uh, I wandered off to the first time and I died. So I'm wondering if you want to do that. I feel like we want to go this way. Oh, there's a bug there. Didn't even see it. Insectoids. Yeah. See, look how much let's, look how much tankier it is. <laughs> no, only doing 30 damage though, which isn't too bad. How much XP do we get for that though? Three. Let's move out. That's probably about where we should be. So I'm wondering when it says grass, if it means like a patch of grass or if there's little areas with flowers count too. Also, still haven't gotten a uh, AOE ability yet. Oh, come on, Estelle. I'm sure it's only a matter of time. <clears throat> I bet some of the stronger arts um, turn into AOE based as opposed to just single target. Like there gotta be some like big ass fireballs and stuff like that. Did she finish it? Yes. All right. we rule. Fresh herb. <clears throat> yeah, so I definitely didn't explore this path all the way out, I know that. What are you guys weak to? Nothing in particular. Oh, critical attack. Oh, only 18 damage. I can live with that. Damn, Estelle. Come on. How much we got here? Ooh, I'll miss a kill shot. Not quite. There we go. We're, not, we're gonna save that up just in case something uh something scary shows up at some point here. That's that. We really haven't had a, like out. a true boss fight yet. Besides that one monster we fought on the mil the the one road, I guess could probably be considered a boss that blew up and almost killed both my characters. Cats and bugs. All right. Um. Why don't we do? Well, actually, just go ahead and full strike that guy. Kill the cat first. Then you just do a regular attack, and then I think Joshua could reach him. Yeah. Go ahead and take that one out. We can do that to avoid some damage, so why not? 
Also gets, gets us the Sepith bonus too. Getting two more battles for his cells to level up, probably, and like three or four for Joshua. Making progress, though. Uh, so I don't think Malgam Mai is the right way because they didn't mention that location yet. So we're going to go up instead of down. Or I guess right instead of left, really. Zero damage, I'll take it. I can deal with three also. Oh, okay. Plant got moves apparently. Oh, wrong. I clicked too fast. That's all right. They'll all die next turn. Oh, they still do 24 damage to Joshua? Okay. We definitely should have got him some better armor then. I didn't realize that. We're going to heal him after this turn though. Oh, that only gave us one XP per plant. That's not great. All right, orb mint. Um, oh, you can actually switch it on the fly here. All right, let's go ahead and heal Joshua. What does he have on right now, actually? Mm, so if I take this off, oh, wait, what's our defense at right now? His defense is 29. So if I go Joshua and go this, it's 27. Sylphen Guard and Airstrike Firebolt. Dude, I think we're gonna do this. Josh will be our glass cannon full DPS character. A Sylphen Tank. Alright, I wanna try this out now. Firebolt! We should be okay damage-wise, I think, still, right? Yeah, they're not hurting her that bad. We can heal up after battle. Alright, let's see what Firebolt looks like. Pretty cool. It did more damage, but it's fine. It's probably level one. A level one art. First tier. Uh, just go ahead and smack it. I wish we could at least two shot these things, but it's okay for now. That's not okay though. Critical hits. Wait, can you charge the CPU gauge up past max then? Yeah, he's at 113 now. I didn't realize that. Shit. All right, well, let's, we'll let it... We'll see how far it charges up then. That's actually really interesting. So you can have multiple charges up of, like, your special ability. You know what that probably means later on? I wonder if they're going to cost more than one bar to, to actually use some of the abilities. Also, that's an Estelle level up. Level she seven, eight, uh, status, seven. Oh, there we go. Aha! What's the, with the sudden outburst? I found it. Now to claim our prize. Bam. Firefly fungus. Isn't that, you think so, too? The place it's glow it's the place it's growing seems about right, and it's got that soft green glow. This has got to be that firefly fungus that what's his face was talking about. You mean Orbit, right? Yeah, that's who I meant. <clears throat> it doesn't look like all that tasty, but it sure is a pretty mushroom. Almost like the glow of septum, if you ask me. Septium. Septium. What's up, Joshua? I may be worrying too much, but I think you better put that mushroom in your bag quickly, Estelle. What the? Oh shit, boss fight? Oh, the monsters are attracted to it? Just like I figured. This mushroom attracts... Estelle, look out! 
Are they like special felines or right? They're just flying felines, yeah. I mean, this shouldn't be a big deal, right? Yeah, we're fine. And that one's gone this turn, probably? Yeah. I think we're a little overpowered for these for these uh, encounters. Unless a boss shows up after this, then that could be uh, a little riskier. Now that was a surprise, I tell you. Did you put that thing away? Yep, it's all taken care of. The light emitted by raw septium has the power to attract monsters. This mushroom also seems to have the same effect. That sneaky merchant. He never mentioned a single thing about this. Anyway, let's hurry back to town. Right. Just wait till I get my hands on you, you conniving merchant. Probably shouldn't... Oh, white bracelet. There we go. This chest is now full of disappointment. Okay. Uh, what does that do? Oh, it prevents blindness. That honestly is probably better on Joshua. Because, uh... He's, he's our big damage, so... Alright, back we go. Oh, there's a plant right there. And bugs. Kill the plants first. Oh, come on. Oh, that was uh, with times 10 damage, too. Or times 10 attack or something. Uh, what are these guys weak? They're not weak against anything in particular, it looks like. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I kind of wasted that. Can I undo it? No. Oh, whatever. Here I come. <laughs> Ooh, oh my god, that was almost 300 damage. It is a plant, though, so that could be possibly part of the reason why. Damn, 45 damage on him? Hey, regains 20 regains 23 health, okay. That's that thing. Ooh, big level up. There we go. Full health now. Yeah, so the random encounters were harder than most of the uh, planned encounters so far. Damn bugs. Joshua Carey, no big deal. <laughs> Still bopped. We probably are getting close to having enough money for uh, to buy him an upgraded armor set too. We're good to go. 640 is the next up or next uh, level up, so we have a little while. Especially only getting like. I think the most XP we've gotten at one time is like 10 or something like that, so it's been pretty low so far. I'm really curious though about the next quest that takes us into the forest. I bet that'll be a little more difficult. We've not been down there yet, so... The monsters might be a higher level. Alright, we're good to go. Also, the, when, we, when we were in the sewers, we had that little area where we could go to full health and, and whatnot. That's been the only one we've seen so far, so I wonder if those are only in like... I guess the sewers might be considered a dungeon, and this is kind of just roaming the world right now, so it's different. But you still would think there'd be like checkpoints along the way or something. Um, and that might just be the case for this first area, because it's not meant to be like super hard to get through. 
Even though I wiped, uh, like, three episodes ago. That was more my fault for going the wrong way. Alright, I think that you can reach it. Oh, she can't. Whoops, my bad, Joshua. Be alright, though. We are starting to stockpile a lot of random ingredients though, so hopefully that'll come in handy. Alright, Orbid. What's that you say? You found the mushroom? Yep, we found it alright. Oh, wonderful. But it might be different than the one we heard about from you. You see, this mushroom attracts monsters. Uh, well, it's like this. So even though you knew the risk, you hired us for the job, Orvid? Uh, what? Uh, how was I supposed to know something like that? And besides, a bracer's job is to deal with danger, right? Well, a little heads up would have been nice if we could at least been prepared. Never mind us. The big question here is your motive. What do you intend to use this mushroom for? Yeah, this thing could be a weapon. Fess up, you had some big nefarious plan in mind, right? A nefarious mushroom plan. Uh, what? Isn't it obvious what I'm going to use it for? For cooking, of course. What? Cooking? Are you trying to tell me that people actually eat this thing? This is why it's such a pain to deal with country pumpkins. In the hands of a skilled chef, the more distinct the ingredient, the more profound the taste. And from the, that perspective, the firefly mushroom is the king of them all. This is no doubt the ultimate ingredient. So pretty much what you're saying is that it's for people who eat bizarre things. That's the talk of, un, un, uh, of, the, of one unacquainted with the true delicacy. But then again, commoners such as yourself would never have an opportunity to try such dishes. And praise be to heaven for that. I'd never want to gnaw on a ratty green mushroom like that. Agreed, it looks pretty nasty. Anyway, I have other business preparations to make. Now if you don't mind, I'd ask that you hand over the mushroom and leave. Yes, please take it. On behalf of this mushroom, I shall turn a blind eye to your ignorance. And as promised, I'll pay you, so be grateful to your client. Nobody's going to buy that mushroom, I hope you know. Come on, Joshua, let's go. Please excuse us, we'll be going now. Yes, please do. <laughs> Alright, we've sold somebody a sketchy mushroom. And we got paid for it, so I'll, I'll take it, I guess. Uh, let's go over here to the inn real quick and top off. It's only 20 Mira, so I don't, I mean, it's not really that big of a deal to, to do it. All right, so we're gonna turn this into the Bracer Guild and then we're gonna head over to the forest. Well, we're gonna go talk to the, the dude. What, well, let's actually, let's go do that now. The greater the light, the darker the shadow becomes. When one soul is touched by a blinding light, it becomes conscious of the darkness within and embraces, and embraces a contrite spirit, especially those who are tormented by the sins of their past. And of course, Joshua's face pops up because something's going on with him. However, through this ordeal, one can understand the pain and suffering of others and reach a greater plane of insight. What is important for the individual is preparing for the future and deciding what one wants to do. <sighs> Just listening to him makes my brain hurt. Father Divine's sermons are always difficult for me to understand. Wait, uh... Wait, the quest, though. It said talk to Father Divine. Alright, well, let's go back to the guild, then. Boom, mushroom hunt complete. Unless, did it expire? No. Yeah, client, Father Divine. Anyone who finds, oh, anyone who finds the item, please come to see me at roll. Okay, so you're supposed to go get the items, then go see him. Okay, so. All right, south of Roland, the Mistwalled Forest. So before we do that, let's get Joshua some better armor. I didn't want to talk to Elger. Sorry, buddy. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, there's a whole conversation. Bop. Bye. Um, armor vest. We'll take one. Now, what do we have here? What is it? 
A silver accessory blessed by the goddess. That's it. Oh, prevents poison, prevents blind, prevents sleep. Uh, I mean, we haven't really encountered anything that poisons us yet, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Famous last words. But it will, hopefully it'll be okay. After a while, we probably can go sell some gear too. That we have extra. I do want to buy... Um, what do you have here, actually? Okay, so I need... Let's get... Two of these. And then we need... Those are only four a piece. Get ten of this. And then let's get ten of this. All right, so we can make some cookies now to heal, heal ourselves up. Um, to repair a neutralized orbment. We've, we've not had that happen yet. That must be a status effect, maybe? Um, it doesn't tell me how, does it not say, oh, we have five in the inventory, okay. I'm gonna buy two of these, just in case we do get poisoned or something while we're running around. I think that's good enough. All right, let's go ahead and head to the Mistwald Forest. But before we do that, actually, let's uh, go ahead and throw a save in here just because you never know what can happen. It's a brand new area, so we might be under leveled or something crazy. Oh, here we go. All right, so I guess we get through the Gurin Gate. Hopefully we can get through. Yeah, this seems to be the right way. Are there new enemies? Insects? Flower things still? Flower. Oh, we could probably check for chests and stuff along the edges, I bet. So far, I haven't seen anything, though. I mean, it seems pretty straightforward right now, so... They're... Oh, wait, that's a different enemy. What is this guy? What are these things? sort of birds. Mars Sparrow. 212 health. Alright. Go smack it around, see what happens. Alright. Good start. <laughs> there we go. How about we just both focus this one now? She can reach it, right? Yes. There we go. Uh-oh, it's chanting furiously. That doesn't sound like a good thing. Alright. Estelle, can you reach the enemy? You cannot. If I do this... Uh, alright, so I guess we'll just move towards. What's it gonna do? Mars Star. Ooh, okay, it was critical too. That was pretty cool though. So Joshua is stunned, I guess? I'm not sure if that's the name of the status effect, but obviously you can't move. Piece of cake. I mean, 8xp, tender poultry also. We need to find a chicken, chicken dish to make. Oh, also, uh, items. How do I... <laughs> Probably should have looked this up. I, I don't remember how to do this. Is it this way? There we go. Um, so you just make that. The heal HP, I think. Okay. To go, heals HP. Sit down, heals HP for all. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. He counts. We're surrounded by bugs and cats. Thankfully, they won't hurt us that much. That was unlucky. Continues to be unlucky. Almost can one-shot those guys. Alright, Estelle, 102 damage, not bad, not bad. Oh, so close. Oh, they're going after Estelle now instead of Joshua. There we go. Oh, wait, I want that. Wait. Oh, I got it fast enough. I want the bonus Sepith. I mean, it seems, generally speaking, that we recover, um, 
CP pretty quickly, so I don't think it's that big of a deal to blow our, our specials to some random fights. Well, or we can miss all of our attacks. The feline didn't have any better luck, though. That's that then. Let's move out. Okay. Oh, I don't know what drops a bear claw. We're not in the forest yet, though. Wait. Oh, that's east? Okay, so the map should be... It's just not true. Okay, the map's not obviously a true direction. That was not a surprise, right? Oh my gosh, there's a lot of enemies here. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and knock the plan out over there. Um, I think we should aim for the plants. Well, you know what? That was probably kind of dumb because they're not going to do any damage. Nine. Yeah, the birds are probably what I should have been worried about. They're not chanting though, which is good. Ooh, 48 damage, okay. Hopefully Estelle one-shots now. We're a higher level, so we'll see. Yes, barely, but it would still work. I was hoping it would start chanting. All right, well, it's dead now. Ah! Okay, it's chanting. All right, that bird takes priority. We need, wish we could interrupt it somehow. I don't think even with the crits, this is gonna be enough. I take that back, all right. Might as well just use this instead of running all the way across the map. Piece of cake. 11 that time, that's not bad. I'm excited to get a, a ranged uh, character. That'll be pretty cool. Oh, bug, I didn't even see it there. We'll get a preemptive strike or preemptive attack on it. We'll go all auto attacks, try to get our CP up, and then we'll miss and I'll consider what I just said. Okay, Joshua, damn. Good dodge, good dodge. All right, 24 damage is fine. Acceptable. Oh, it didn't die? That's eight health left. getting close to the point where I should just drop a heal on both characters from Estelle. We have 60 EP, so I mean, it's kind of, that's definitely worth, just in case something crazy shows up. Yeah, from that one battle, they both almost have full CP. Let's move out! Oh wait, I want, I just want to boost here. There we go. Let me out, let me out. There we go. Yeah, for some reason it seems like you have to press back a bunch of times in the menu, and I'm not sure why. Oh, I didn't even see that bird there. It's gonna be a surprise. Nope, we're good. Alright, we're gonna kill the bird that goes next. Full sever action. Bye. Just trying to reduce the amount of damage we're gonna have to take for no reason. Ouch. Ooh, big attack. And finish it. Here we go. I wonder how big these battles are actually gonna get. Cause right now we've had like up to five enemies, I think, at one time, and then two of us. But I'm assuming you probably get more party members in, into each battle at some point. Piece of cake.
All right, here's Miss Wald. Shit, that looks like a poisonous bug. Oh, let's actually try something. Make what? Make one maple cookie? What is that? What happens? Do we just automatically heal from it, or? Oh, we just put. Is it in our bag now? Oh. Okay, that's how food works. Let's see what this uh, this new enemy is like. Yeah, they're definitely gonna poison us. I guarantee it. But they probably are weak against fire because they're bugs. Okay, they actually take a lot of damage. That's good. And yes, they seem to be weak, a little a little weak to fire at least. All right, so no poison just yet. All right, we're good to go. Uh, we're looking for bear claws. Oh, probably a bear enemy. We'll go a little bit longer. What is this? What is this thing? It looks bad. Probably, wait, uh, it is a forest mist. I could, I bet you make, you cause poison, I guarantee it. Okay, now I wonder if I miss because you're supposed to use magic against them or arts rather, not magic in this game. We'll cast on it just to see. Ooh, I bet you're supposed to. Uh, we're gonna try to attack one more time just to see. Yeah, I bet that's what it is. We can also do this though. I'm guessing this won't miss. Even it is physical. So you never know. Nope, it's still hit. Good. Whoa, 24 XP a piece that time. That's pretty good. And we got larger Sepith pieces and gummy eyeballs. All right. So I think with that, guys, before we go any deeper into the forest, we're gonna wrap up for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is our uh, this is our last side quest before we continue with the main story. So it's pretty exciting. Can't wait to see what happens next. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.